Hello everyone. Um, this is Becky Brown here. I just had to pull over for just a minute. Um, God is moving in such mighty ways that we don't even we don't even acknowledge it. We don't even quite understand the fullness of how he's moving. Um, but when God moves, we have said for the last couple of weeks, when God moves, we move. And when he stands still, we stand still. But I wanted to share with you, um, excuse my, my sunglasses. Um, you can probably tell I am shaking all over. I have got... Um, the the presence of God in this vehicle and I just I just had to pull over because I knew that God was wanting to speak and luckily I had my notebook with me um, and it's 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 an awesome move of God um, but I wanted to share this word with everyone because God is moving by leaps and bounds. He is moving in ways that we can't even understand. He's moving in ways that we can't even see. And I had been praying and seeking God today for specific things. And God moves when he wants to move. He answers when he wants to answer. And just all of a sudden in my praise and worship on my way home, I began to feel a heat. I began to feel a fire come over me and my hands are just shaking. I'm, I'm just, I'm shaking all over at the presence of God, but this is what he gave me. And this is, I believe this is for the, for the church, the, the, the body of Christ. It is for the remnant. It is, uh, for those believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, um, it is a word of encouragement, but it's also a word of instruction. So hear me when, when I read this to you. It says, lift up the name of Jesus in the morning. Lift him up in the noonday. Lift him up even greater in the midnight hour. Be not moved by what you see. Be not moved by what you hear. For I have made you to stand still in the midst of the storms. I've caused you to stand still in the middle of the fires. And you say, why Lord stand still? Why Lord be still? So that you can see me. So that you can hear me. A hush will come across the land, but be not shaken. Your victory is in the hush. It's in the stillness when it looks like nothing is moving. I, the Lord God, am moving. I'm breathing the winds of power on my church, my remnant, my ecclesia. So rise up, church, and take your place. Take your place as the candle on the hilltop. For I'm doing a swift work that in darkness you will be the light. That was the end of the word that God gave me. But it rattled me. It excited me. Because I believe we're entering days where to everyone else it will look doom and gloom. It will look dark. But to the bride of Christ... It will, we will be shouting. We will be lifting up the name of the Lord. Even He said, even in the midnight hour, even greater, lift him up. And so that's direction for the body of Christ, the bride of Christ, the remnant, the ecclesia. We are even in the midst of darkness. We are to lift him up. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Psalms 34 and 1, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. No matter what happens, no matter how dark it is, how light it is, how quiet it is, or how loud it gets. We will bless the name of the Lord at all times. 
I hope this blesses you. I hope this speaks to your spirit that we need to come together as the body of Christ and we need to pray like never before. We need to lift up the name of the Lord like never before and we need to take back what the enemy has stolen from us because it, like he said in the word, in the hush is where our victory lies. We are going to march into the enemy's camp whether he knows it or not. And we're going to take back what, what Satan has stolen from us. These are, we're entering in days where it's going to be victorious for the body of Christ. It may not be victorious for everyone else, but as the body of Christ, we are taking our place we are going to be that candle that sits on the hilltop and we are going to to shine light his light in a dark world and they're going to they're going to need someone to look to they're going to need someone who they can uh, find hope in. Well, there's, we know that the only hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ, but we can point them to the to the hope. We can point him point them to his direction. Rise up, church. I, I've never felt God so strong before up until today. He's telling us all, now is the time to lift him up, to rise up. Don't be shaken by what you see or what you hear, but rise up in the darkness and be the light that God has called us to be. I hope and pray that this drops in your spirit, that it wakes you up, and that it really lights the fire of the Lord Jesus Christ within you. God bless everyone. We love you. God bless you.